Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Um, today, this is going to be a bit of a Garrington theme video, I think, but we've got some other items as well. Um, this is a, a set of, a full set of Garrington lap wings. So the lap wings on the other side on most of them. These are very similar to the little giant adjusting wrenches, but these are the lap wing adjusting wrenches. So we've got 10, 12, uh, 10, 10 inch, um, 14, 18 and 24 inch uh, adjusting spanners. Um, obviously these are reversible, so you can basically tut, flick the jaw the other way around so you've got different, um, different options. These need a good clean up and possibly a paint job um, and they will all go with my new Garrington display, hopefully in my uh, workshop when I can get it set up. Those will look very nice on the wall. And while we're at it, let's show you a few other Garrington tools. Right, so this is the other Garrington themed set. This is a set of Garrington puffing, puffing wrenches. Um, this came in a, I think it's a 10 inch, is it? A 10, 12, 15, and possibly an 18 inch. Let me see if that's right. Nope, that's a 20 inch, 16, 12, 12 and an 11, kind of. But very, very cool, um, different sizes. This I believe this to be a full set of the Clyburn style puffing Garrington's wrenches, a full set. This one is a particularly nice one, the large one, very, very cool. Um, I'm guessing this is a full set anyway. Jim will have to chime in um, if, if there's anything missing, so you'll know. Yeah, so we've got a full set of lat wings and a full set of puffins. Um, this looks like it's got a bit of paint on. These all need a good clean up and a wax, and they will be nice additions to the collection. All right, let's move on to some other bits of bobs. Right, we're getting to the end of it now. <clears throat> so this is the last of it. We've got a backhoe, 30 inch. I used to think this was a big spanner until you see the last one. A 30 inch backhoe offset adjustable spanner. We've got a wedged, um, early wedged version of where, you know, of a spanner blacksmith made. And then we've got here two pin spanners. Um, here, this one opens up to two seven eighths of an inch. Um, how, how long is this one? Possibly two foot, a two foot jobby. And then this one here is considerably longer. This one, is almost three foot 35 inches long this one is massive you can just about oh, see there's some writing there manufacturing company something like that i'm not sure if you can actually read that or not but this is a monster of a wrench this opens up to four and three quarter inches with obviously the pin design um, and i think this is american as well very cool item but not as cool as the item I'm going to show you now. Oh, I've got one more thing to show you. One second. Right, so this is the last of the wrenches, but I've got a couple of books I want to show you as well. Um, this is absolutely humongous. An absolute monster of the deep. This is a um, seven inch, you know, jaw, uh, not 60 inch long. It weighs 23 kilos, which is about 50 pounds in weight, 50 pounds or so. Um, an absolute monster of an adjustable wrench. Uh, uh, absolutely monster, just ridiculous. Um, huge, huge, huge thing indeed. Um, so <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put it, put it that way, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I couldn't leave it, I just thought it was really cool. Uh, a record 60 heavy 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 duty and the funny thing is the handles bent so someone must have used a digger or something to push on it to get it to bend i've no idea also a couple more items we've got we've got this rather nice coase with a lovely handle on it and um, it says coase here and then here it's a billings and spencer which is good i think billings and spencer company bought coase out um, and it's a rather nice example also not exactly uh, a midget wrench either it's um 
two foot long so it's 24 inch and it's a, a big old boy big old boy indeed very very cool billings and spencer and the last but not least of the wrenches is a Thurley grip number three i've got a number one and two so this completes the set of the the Thurley the Thurley grip this is a number three all right so let's show you the books now which i picked up i picked up two nice books and then uh, that'll be the end of this uh, little mini series of the second visit hopefully you've enjoyed it and seen some interesting items i've got to somehow find a way to put these away now so hopefully you enjoyed it all right let's move on to the book right so this is the last of the last i've managed to pick up three i thought quite interesting books we've got a stanley identification and valuers guide so it shows you what the approximate values would be and the rarity etc of the different stanley items this is an interesting book i think the chap who made this is no longer making it so it's quite a sought after item indeed lots and lots of interesting um, displays and different stuff so that's a Stan stanley valuers guide We've got this here, which is a King Dick 1948 um, book. Um, and it's got all the King Dick tools. Really, really nice. Shows you the original packaging with the blue from the 1950s. The, the socket sets. Lots of different stuff. Very, very cool. And then here we've got a catalogue of antique tools. I, bought, I picked this up because of the pictures. I thought the pictures. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. The pictures of the collection was quite nice some interesting wrenches there interesting planes um, all sorts of different items which some of them I actually have and some of them I wouldn't mind finding if I could find them also more wrenches spanners there uh, woodblock planes saws all sorts of stuff the whoever's done this has done a lovely job with the photographs um, found some you know some really interesting items i wouldn't say they're the highest end items in the world but certainly a nice cross selection of interesting things and lots so i'm going to look forward to having a look through that and then um, having a look and seeing if i can find anything interesting which i've not seen before so yeah that that's a, a picture book of interesting items which I thought was quite good. And if anyone wants to find one, that's what it is. Premier Antique, you'll probably find one on eBay or something. Um, it was £21 when it came out. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching if you got this far. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.